Hey everyone, and welcome to my channel. This is Tarot by Melissa, and today's reading is going to be answering the question, what is your person's next action? So we're gonna be looking into the energy or action that you can next expect from the person that's on your mind. Of course, this is gonna be one of our blunt readings on the channel, and getting into our disclaimers here, the reason that I title these readings blunt is because my goal and intention is to pr provide you with the honest truth of what I see, whether it's great news that you really wanna hear or maybe if it's not, right? So I always say that if you at all are feeling kind of sensitive about your person or feeling like you're coming into this reading with a certain answer that you're wishing for, <clears throat> this may not be the best suited reading for you because I am gonna tell you the truth, no sugarcoating. Always done in a nice way though. <laughs> also keep in mind guys, these are general readings. so. If the message isn't resonating or doesn't feel like it fits your situation, please do not allow it to get you upset. Please do not take it personally. Remember, I'm tapping into the energies that are going on within the collective, right? So some of the aspects of the reading may resonate with you. Some of the aspects might not. If it doesn't apply, just let it fly. And if you did want to book a personal reading with me, all of the details on how you can book one will be linked in the description box down below. Personal readings are always a great way to get a more specific and accurate read on your own personal situation. All right. So let's get into our pile selection. We're going to be working with three piles for today's reading. So for pile one, group one, we're working with the Edgar Allan Poe tarot and then this little brown crystal <laughs> that I don't think I ever identified what it was. <laughs> For pile number two, we're going to be working with the Rider Waite Smith and some Malachite. And for pile number three, we're working with the Disney Villains Tarot and some Rough Rose Quartz. So let's go ahead and take a deep breath. Think about your person and their next potential actions toward you. Go ahead and select the deck or the crystal that you feel the most intuitively connected to. And once you've made your choice, you can scroll down to the description box to locate the timestamp that will take you to your selected reading. See you there. Hey, pile number one. If you guys chose this Edgar Allan Poe tarot with this little brown crystal, mystery crystal, this will be your reading. So we're going to be looking at your person's next action toward this connection. So we're gonna start by looking at their current position. So let's just take a look to see where they currently stand. So what is pile one's person's current position as it pertains to the connection with pile one? Where do they stand? Oh, so we've got Financial and material changes. This is a five of pentacles, I believe. Let's see. Where do they currently stand? In the seven of swords. Heart chakra energy at the bottom. So this person, wow, this is tough energy, you guys. Um, we'll see when we get into the tarot here in a minute. We'll get more info, but Initially, what I'm feeling is that this person, I do see that there are a lot of challenges that this person is going through right now. We've got the Five of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords, financial and material changes with deception and envy. So where they currently stand with regard to this connection is that this person is going through some financial struggles right now or some sort of struggle in their like material life. And I feel like they are watching you, and I almost feel like they are jealous of you in some way. Um, just look at how this guy is kind of like lifting the mask and just kind of glaring, you know? Something about this energy does not feel good to me. Um, but let's see. I want to continue here with the tarot. Let's just jump right in. So tell us more. What is their next action? I think with that heart chakra energy on the bottom of the deck, I feel like this person, I feel like they are very jealous. Like I feel that they have a possessive energy toward you in a way. Um, and I feel like some of these issues that they're having with their finances are really blocking or impeding their ability to open up their heart. 
Um, so I don't know if you guys make more money than this person or you're more affluent or maybe they feel like you date people that are more affluent than them, but it's causing a lot of um, negative energy for this person. So what's their next action? What's their next move towards pile one? More seven of swords energy. Wow. All right, so we've got seven of swords. Let's see what else we get. Four of wands. What's their next action? The devil. Yikes, you guys. We do have a king of wands here at the bottom. So this person is in a very, this person may be very masculine. Um, competitive, ego-driven. They may also have, um, for some of you guys, I feel like there's anger issues here a little bit, um, but let's see. So tell us their next action, clarifying the Seven of Swords. What's this person's next action? What's their next move toward pile number one? We have the other. Clarifying the Four of Wands, what's their next move toward pile one? The document. Clarifying this devil energy, what's their next move toward pile one? Okay. This person is very attracted to you guys. They're very attracted. They find you to be very tempting to them. With the devil energy being here and the siren card being here, this person, though, is, they're definitely very physically charged. I will say that. With all of this fire energy surrounding your person, the king of wands. Let's see if we can focus this in a little bit better. Look at this guy, though. He looks kind of crazed, right? I just, for some of you guys, I kind of feel like this person might be married or um getting out of something, maybe. They see you as being very tempting to them, something that they're very like sed easily seduced by. Um, but let's see, what's their next move? So I definitely see this person being a little bit in the shadows with things, with the Seven of Swords and the other. This person may be somebody that you guys feel like you are you can never quite pin them down or they're always like one step ahead of you. They have a very strategic mindset here and I'm not really seeing this in a very positive light. This person is playing a lot of games. They're watching you from afar. They're keeping their true intentions hidden from you. They do admire you though. They do watch you from afar. Um, there's definitely third party energy here, you guys, for some of you, like either you're already in a relationship with someone and they're jealous of this and they're kind of watching you from afar, or maybe they're already spoken for as well and continuing to watch you in, in the shadows, watching you in silence, watching you in sneakiness. But I definitely see them continuing to move in silence and play a lot of games with regard to the situation. So you may not necessarily see them overtly expressing to you, even though I think there's that there's a lot of passion here. There's definitely that energy of attraction of like the king of wands, right? The king of wands is somebody that goes after what he wants, right? He's not afraid. He's fearless in doing what he wants to do. But I feel like this person has some ego issues. And I feel like this person is not really in touch with their higher self or their heart. Um, there's just something here that feels very dark, and there's something here that feels very, um, maybe a little bit toxic for some of you guys. The reason that I kind of feel like there's something about them being married or something like this is because with the Four of Wands, Four of Wands you guys, it typically depicts like a wedding scene, right? It, it depicts like a celebration, a party of sorts. But in this depiction of it, we see almost like someone being laid to rest. And there's a lot of storm clouds here out in the horizon. And with the document card, this is about separation and divorce contracts, legal papers and proceedings, things like that. I feel like for some of you guys, this person is sort of laying to rest 
their old life. Like they're going through a divorce, they're going through a separation. I feel like they have the door open for you because with Four of Wands, this is kind of like the door is open, but it doesn't necessarily indicate like someone who's actively actioning toward you, you know? They are they are laying to rest something to do with their old life, with an old relationship, a marriage. This is like a divorce that they're focusing in on. And I feel like because it's almost like they're bitter about it a little bit, that they can't really, they don't feel like they can really like come forward towards you with the passion that they have because they've got to be dealing with all of these other responsibilities. Now with the devil card and it's a plan, I do feel that this person has the intention to make plans with you when the timing is right for them. Um, I can see them wanting to ask you on a date. I can see them wanting to like solidify something with you, but they're obsessing a lot about it with the devil card. And look at all this fiery energy here too. Like, I wonder how long this has been going on for some of you guys. Like how long have you been really like interacting with this person? Because this is giving the energy of something that's been buried away and is just being exposed. And now it's no longer living, right? Like there's something about this that feels for some of you guys, like it's been lasting beyond its expiration date. Like maybe you guys have been waiting for a long time for this person to make a move, or maybe they've been waiting a long time to make a move. They've been obsessing about this for a long time though. I can tell you that. Let's continue. I don't know, you guys. This person just seems a bit unstable to me. And I don't really typically get this energy in a reading, so it may not be that extreme for everybody. I mean, again, it's a general reading. You guys are going to know your situation better than I do. But it just seems like there's a lot of dark, deceptive energy here. This person is obsessed with you. They're jealous. They're not in a healthy state of mind with regard to the situation. So let's see. What's their next action? What's their next move towards pile one? Oh my gosh, look at We have more fire. You guys, I just feel that this person has like a really destructive personality. Like maybe you have not seen this side of them. Maybe you've seen hints of it. This person's life is literally going up in flames right now. And I feel like this is part of the, like the biggest reason why they can't come towards you. Um, I don't know. I just, I feel like this person might be kind of just not in the healthiest headspace. I almost feel like I want to say the word dangerous, but I don't want to like freak anyone out. And that may not be the case for everybody. Um, but they just seem quite explosive here. So listen to your intuition about this person. Whatever you guys have been tapping into, really honor that. If you've been seeing red flags, if you've been feeling like something's a little wacky or a little off with this person, please listen to your gut instincts. Um, but what I see in terms of their next action is like this person's life is literally in flames. <laughs> like, And so even though I feel that they do see you as an opportunity for new love and they would like to make plans to connect with you, ultimately in terms of actual movement, what I feel is somebody who's a little bit more passive, right? We've got that energy here with the other, the deception. We've got that energy here with the seven of swords, right? Even with this document card and the four of wands, we have more passive energy in your reading than we have energy of someone fully like going forward with something. Even though the king of wands here is taking action, there's this undertone of desire for sure. But in terms of like their next move, it feels like this person is more so trying to clean up the stuff in their own life. And maybe there is a part of this person that is focused on healing, right? Because these cards, it's like they're laying something to rest and this is giving sanctuary energy to me. Like they're trying to find their peace in a very toxic situation. Um, but they do feel like you're somebody who is providing them an opportunity for new love, right? They see you as a new, something new for them. Um, let's see. What's their next action for pile one? We have watch very soon. They're kind of like biding their time. They're waiting for the right time to come forward and just continuing to kind of watch you from a distance. Yeah, see, we have the phantom lover, fantasy. I think a lot of this stuff is in their head. Like a lot of this energy of them desiring you, watching you, 
wanting to make plans with you. It's, it's a fantasy. They're obsessing over it in their head more than they're ready to take action. Okay. We also have secure love nest. I feel that's ultimately what this person wants. Look, we have secret admirer at the bottom. You really stand out to them. But again, there's more indication here that the action is going to be them observing and watching from afar. You know, you guys did select a crystal that's very like grounding in nature. It's brown, right? I don't know what it is exactly, but I get very like grounding sort of vibes from this. And I feel that that's what this person is really craving. So what I will say is this, in terms of actions, the one thing that we have here that feels more action oriented is this, right? I think eventually this person may come forward when they're ready in timing to make plans with you because they see you as an opportunity for new love. I do feel like this person has feelings for you with the heart chakra being here, but their heart is a little bit like in healing mode right now. I think they've been damaged by whatever the situation is that they've been going through. And what this person ultimately craves is security, right? With this brown crystal, they want security. They see you as that opportunity for security, but you've got to be really cautious because with the devil card coming up here, this is about someone who has unhealthy attachments to others, right? So there may be a lot of passion. There may be a lot of chemistry. This may feel very addicting and exciting and all those things are super fun and awesome. However, unless this person is doing the healing that they need to do, they may tend to latch on to you in an unhealthy way. Um, so it's just something you want to be careful of, okay? So let's just grab a couple more cards for pile number one. What else does pile one need to know about this person? We have not compatible. You don't really believe there's a match for you. Have an open mind. So there's definitely something about compatibility here between you guys that needs to be looked at. Um, if we have fear of cheating. Not everyone cheats. You need to open up your heart and trust your partner. This person, I think, has been really hurt. Um, I think that they have been hurt by infidelity in the past. We have unavailable. You're chasing someone unavailable or you are the one who's running away. Yeah, I just feel like this person is definitely like emotionally unavailable to say the least. Um, they are also, I think, physically unavailable because it seems like they're tying up loose ends. But I also feel that maybe you guys might be otherwise occupied too, or at least this person perceives it that way. They seem to latch on to things that are not healthy for them. And I'm not saying it's you guys, like you guys are like unhealthy or whatever, but there's something about the this person like inappropriately latching on to others that they need to work on healing. Um, and maybe they do this, like this card says, to run away from their problems, right? Like instead of healing from this stuff that they have going on in their life and focusing on fixing it, they would latch on to you because they find you so seductive and tempting and secure, right? So it's almost like they would connect with you and it would be like a Band-Aid to the issue instead of them really facing the issue and dealing with it. And they may not even be like aware of that, right? It's just kind of subconsciously driven. So, wow, pile one, this is really interesting. Please comment below. Let me know what's been going on with this person and how you feel that this message resonates with your connection. If you're not already, please do subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell so you'll be updated when I post the next reading. And I look forward to seeing you then. Bye. Hey, pile two. If you guys picked out the Rider Waite Smith Tarot with this little malachite crystal, this is going to be your reading. So we're going to be looking at your person's next action toward you. So we're going to start by looking at their current position. So let's see where they currently stand with regard to your connection at this time. So for pile two, where does this person currently stand with regard to this connection with my pile two viewers? Where do they currently stand with regard to the action that they want to take? We have Passion Ignited. This is the Ace of Wands. And we have the Six of Swords moving on. 
We also have a three of swords with heartache and loss at the bottom. So this is kind of sad, you guys, <laughs> for some, some of you. Um, but where do they stand? So this person seems to have a lot of sadness that they're healing from with the three of swords. This can be sadness from your connection. This can be sadness from a situation outside of this connection. Where they stand energetically is that they feel, they seem to feel very excited about something in their life and they're ready to move forward. Now, this card specifically says moving on. So I'm wondering if they want to move on from this connection or if they just want to move on from the heartache, right? We got to dig in and see what this means. But they definitely seem to have a lot of passion. And with the Ace of Wands, this definitely indicates a person that's ready to act. That they're thinking about action. They're taking some sort of inspired action in their life. But this, this is definitely a person that I feel is ready for new beginnings here. So let's see. For Pile 2, what's their next move? What's this person's next move toward my Pile 2 viewers? We have the Strength card. So they're kind of holding back some of that fire toward you. We have the High Priestess. We have the King of Wands. And at the bottom of the deck, we have a Knight of Wands. So definitely we have action here. Lots of fire energy for this group. This could be a fire sign, Leo specifically. Leo Sag Aries. Let's see. Let's get some clarifiers here. So what's their next move? Clarifying this strength card. We have Sunshine. Clarifying the High Priestess card. We have Rocking It. Clarifying the King of Wands. We have Proposal. What? Okay. Hmm. Well, this person definitely has a lot of physical attraction toward you guys, and they definitely feel very passionately about you. Um, Knight of Wands is definitely somebody that wants to take action. King of Wands, Ace of Wands. So there's definitely indication of action. But I feel like this person with the Six of Swords is wanting things to go not too impulsively. There's definitely um, an element of restraint here that I see with whatever action this person is desiring to take. Even though underneath it all, they want to just like jump in and go after it. They're very ignited right now. I think that they there's definitely energy here of like, things going to the next level that I feel with this pile, especially with this 10 of cups. Like I definitely feel that they have feelings for you guys. Like they see you as somebody that they could be in like a long-term committed relationship with. And with the 10 of cups, this is like that idyllic sort of family energy, right? The white picket fence energy, the ultimate emotional fulfillment and achievement that they can see with you. So there's still this undertone of sadness that this person is passing on through. Um, and I kind of feel that this is where, what they're moving on from. It doesn't really feel, in my opinion, that they're moving on from you. It feels like they're moving on from sadness in the past. So, but they're, with the strength card, they're trying to be very measured. They're trying to... And with the High Priestess, I feel like all of these cards are indicating a person who's trying to s take slow action here um, and maybe not reveal to you how passionately they truly feel. They're, they're sort of trying to tame themselves a little bit here to avoid any sort of impulsive moves. This person really enjoys spending time with you. They want things to go well. They have an optimistic mood uh, or mindset about this connection. I think that you guys make them feel really good. Um, 
But they're trying to come across a little bit stoic here. They don't want to just like wear the emotion on their sleeve. And so in terms of their next move, their next action, their next energy, I would expect you to connect with them and know that they're like enjoying themselves, but they may sort of like hold back a little bit of how they feel. Maybe they're afraid of scaring you off or they just don't, they don't want to be too intense is kind of what I feel because they have a lot of intensity with this Knight of Wands here. The High Priestess is telling me that this person is sort of, they're like observing a little bit here. Somebody here is a performer, right? Whether it's this person or it might be you, but this gives the energy of someone who's like watching, right? Like, or do they per watch you guys perform in some way? Or maybe they just lean back and they watch you and observe the way you behave. I do think that there is a part of this person that has been heartbroken in the past for sure. And part of this sort of restraint energy is just them seeing how you move, right? They're kind of gathering data about you. So they feel really excited about things, but they don't want to get hurt. And I think that they like sort of leaning back and watching you as a way to collect more information about how you act, how you move, um, what you're like. They also, I think, want to do it the right way. Like they want to like this card says, they want to hit the right note. They want to move towards you in the right way that's going to be right for you. So they're trying to kind of adapt, I think, to your style or to your personality. Um, but this person with the King of Wands, like they definitely, I see them taking leadership action in this connection. I see them taking the lead on maybe asking you out here, um, either proposing to you. If you guys have been with this person a long time, this could be like an engagement that they want to propose to you. And they're just sort of like waiting for the right moment here, trying not to give it away. <laughs> if you guys are not that serious with this person and it's like a new thing, this is a situation where I think they want to come forward and ask you out. But this person is very masculine. Like they're very masculine and they want to do it the right way is what I'm feeling from this energy. So let's continue. What's their next move toward pile two? We have reconciliation. Interesting. We have unfinished business. What? <laughs> OK. We also have romantic feelings. We have ex-lover coming out too, yeah. I feel like maybe they just got out of a relationship or they've been healing from an ex. We have family energy here too. So maybe this person, maybe they have children or if, like a family with an ex that they have to be considering in the situation. They wanna make sure that they're doing things right um, by their family. Again though, this could also indicate them feeling like they could see that family with you but totally, like, this person's next action is to reconnect with you. They totally have feelings for you. This is a pile where, like, they want to reconnect. There's something here that they feel has not been finished. There's unfinished business here. <laughs> um, I don't, I feel like it's going to happen fairly soon for you guys. Like, maybe Leo season is when this might happen. Um, I feel like this video is being uploaded in Leo season, if I remember correctly. So maybe Leo season is significant. But with all the wands that we have here, it doesn't feel – it's like measured with the strength card and the high priestess, but it's like – it's happening sooner than you guys think. I'm wondering if some of you guys might – run into this person like at a concert or something or maybe you make plans to go to a concert together all right what's their next move toward pile two we have the trials of love lessons the stars align wow we have invitation of love. Part of me really feels like you guys are going to like run into this person by chance somewhere like in public where there's like a performance going on. 
I'm also wondering if that's why the high priestess is here because sometimes that card comes up when we're not supposed to know the answer and we're supposed to listen to our intuition. <laughs> so I could see that being like them not revealing, like spirit not wanting to reveal how or where it's going to happen. But it's like when the stars align, you guys will connect and this will move forward. Um, there's This person has learned some tough lessons about their past and I do see them making an offer, an invitation of love, an offer of something with you to go to the next level, whether it's asking you on a date, asking you to marry them, asking you to get back together, whatever it is, they want to reconnect with you. However, I do have to point out that at the bottom of the deck, we have the round and round. So just keep in mind that this could be, depends on your situation, but for some of you guys, even though this looks really positive, you just want to be careful that like this isn't a repeated cycle or repeated lesson for you, okay? Like if you're going to reconcile with this person and there's been history here in the past, you definitely want to make sure that both of you have done the work to heal and not just recreate the same story or recreate the same lesson rather again, okay? So pile two, let's take a look and see what else you should know about this person. What's their next move? Give us more insight into this person's energy, please. We have body shame. You feel unattractive to others. Work on accepting yourself, flaws and all. This person may not feel... I feel like they are like really attracted to you, but maybe they don't feel like they themselves are attractive. Or they have self-love issues here. We have confusion. You don't know what you want, so you need clarity before you get involved. This is why we have that high priestess card coming up as well, you guys, and the strength card. This person knows that they're very attracted to you and they have passionate feelings towards you. But I think that we have that energy of them holding back because they want to make sure of them like that they're clear about what they want before they make a move probably because of the fact that we have some repeated we have some history here between you guys and I feel like they don't want to mess it up okay all right let's get one more we have being guarded you are lonely because you are so aloof trust others and let them into your heart so they're definitely still healing from the past and um, I think that there is, there's still some healing that this person has to do. This is interesting too, because we have too much. You tell others too much about yourself all at once. Sit back and listen more. I feel like when this person comes back, I feel like they're coming back into your life for a lot of you guys. But whenever you guys see them again, I feel that they're making a concerted effort to listen to you instead of being this like, because I feel that this person may have a pretty strong personality with the King of Wands and the Knight of Wands and the Strength card. Like, I think that they may have a stronger, more like dominant personality where they might have a tendency to like really just light up the room or like overpower others without really be like meaning to. So they're trying to hold back and listen to you a little bit more is what I feel. Um, and just observe you a little bit more too. So, wow, pile two. Please comment below. What is the situation with this person? I really look forward to hearing all about it in the comments. <laughs> if you're not already, please do subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell so you'll be updated when I post the next reading. And I look forward to seeing you then. Bye. Hey, pile number three. If you guys picked out the Disney Villains Tarot with this little rose quartz piece, this is going to be your reading. So we're going to be looking into your person's next action, their next move, their next energy towards you. So let's just go ahead and jump right in, starting off with their current position. So where does this person currently stand with regards to their connection with group two? Or I'm sorry, group three. <laughs> So where does this person stand with regard to their next action toward group number three? All right, so we've got the stand your ground, the seven of wands. Okay. And we have the waiting game, the two of wands. Oh my gosh, hold on guys.
Okay, so... <sighs> this person feels like they need to prove themselves to you in some way, it looks like, with the Stand Your Ground card coming up here. They are standing firm in whatever their beliefs are, standing firm in whatever their position is. For some of them, they may be feeling a little bit defensive, like they have to defend themselves, or again, they have to prove themselves. I just kind of feel like this person wants to stand out to you in some way, um, because they seem like they really are in the shadows here, in a sense. And with the Two of Wands, it feels like this person, it's like there's been a lot of just going around and around in circles here, waiting around for something to be different instead of doing something different. And so I kind of wonder for some of you if this person's been more so like waiting on you to do something versus them doing something. But let's see. I want to see what else we have here. So tell us this person's next action towards pile three. What's their next move? What's their next move? We have two coming up. We have the king of swords and the seven of cups. And the fool. We have the Knight of Wands at the bottom. So there's definitely like some excitable energy here. Um, mischievous energy, maybe. What's their next move? Clarifying this King of Swords. What's their next move toward pile three? have wicked yeah there's that mischievous energy coming up again interesting that we have scar from the lion king there we have frigid what's their next move we have sleep on it and gratuity hmm. okay wow this is di this is different you guys um, I think that this person is kind of cold. They feel cold towards you. Um, calculated is the word. And isn't this character, I don't remember what, this one is from but I feel like this is a kind of mischievous character too right I mean we did pick the Disney villains tarot so I guess all the characters are kind of going to be like that except Kronk <laughs> I feel like he's more lovable but um this person's energy just feels cold and calculated with the king of swords I feel like this person is sort of calculating their next move and they have this sort of like um, mischievous energy here. So they feel like they have to defend themselves. They feel like very fixed in whatever it is that their position is with regard to your connection. And this person may be portraying themselves as to be something that they're not, which actually makes a lot of sense when you think about this, this Disney character, right? Because this Disney character tries to act like, oh, Simba, like I'm going to help you. And, you know, he gets Simba to do all this bad stuff and ultimately the whole time he's plotting the demise of his dad and Simba himself and just has these like ulterior motives here. And so I I don't know how extreme your person's intentions are toward you, but it definitely seems like they are portraying themselves as this sort of cool, calm, collected person, but they're very calculated, right? They're very calculated in the way that they're presenting themselves to you for some reason. This person with the seven of cups is sort of scattered in their energy. Like, I wonder if this person has other options that they've been entertaining or they're just confused. 
about what they want, but there's definitely this choice energy that's here. And um, this card too, with the two of wands, a lot of times can indicate, especially this is like a romantic relationship, a person who's kind of got one foot in the door and one foot out the door. So I could see this person kind of showing up here and like, you know, presenting themselves to you in one way, but you can feel that disconnect, right? And the disconnect is coming from the fact that their energy is scattered elsewhere. Additionally, with the Knight of Wands here, there's a little bit of player energy. I see that non-committal energy here with the Fool card as well. So you guys might feel like this person is cold towards you, or you may feel like they're just kind of detached. And that is by design, right? They are this way because they have other things, other options, choices in front of them. But I also feel like this person is like, like they're doing it on purpose in a way. Like they're intentionally cold with the King of Swords and the Frigid card. Like they kind of have a certain level of awareness of understanding why they're doing what they're doing here. It's very manipulative, I have to say. For some of you guys, this feels very manipulative. Now, we also have the fool, and we have the energy of gratuity, and we have sleeping on it. So this is kind of a different energy. I think that this person may, coming up here in the future, decide to take a break from this connection. Um, I feel like this person with the fool is really hungry for freedom. They don't seem to be a person who's wanting to feel like very tied down, you know? And they have, I just noticed this. There's like the little angel and then the little devil here. So more energy of choices, right? Like they're trying to <laughs> decide who do I want to be? Like, do I want to be this person or do I want to be that person? And um, there's a decision that they have to make here about maybe freeing themselves from this connection, being single, um, But I kind of feel like they really ultimately desire to be free. Like that's the issue here is this person doesn't want to really be tied down to anything. Um, this person might be traveling as well with the fool. And with that gratuity energy being here, this is about raising your vibration, attracting the things that you want, right? So this person wants some sort of new beginning for themselves with the fool. And I think what I see here in terms of their actions is an energy of detachment, right? An energy of detachment and doing so because they're trying to ultimately go after this new beginning that they want. But let's see, let's continue. What's their next move? We have faded meeting. Hmm. We have text message. We have heartbreak. Yeah, I think that they're just going to, I feel it's almost like a slow fade that I get from this person, you guys. Like, it feels like a slow fade. I think the next time that you guys meet this person, you may just see them by chance somewhere at the faded meeting you or... There is sort of this energy of texting here, but whatever the next moment is that you see them is destined. Like it's going to feel like a shift in the connection. There's going to be a shift in the connection where you're, I think, going to see this side of this person more clearly than maybe you have up until this point. I see this person slowly kind of fading out through text message. Like you'll see them here. They're going to try to present themselves as being a certain way. But then ultimately, after you guys meet, I see a slow fade and this person ultimately like walking away into their new beginning, their, into, their, into their perceived freedom here. And I think that um, I see that as being very hurtful to you, my viewer. Let's see. What's their next move? What's pile threes? person's next action. We have heart on the line. Hmm. On the mend. We have roses are red. 
standards. Okay. That makes a lot of sense with the knight of or the king of swords. I feel like when you guys see this person next, they're going to tell you they're standing their ground. Remember, they are putting themselves out there in a way, expressing something to you. But it's going to be very calculated. It's very, very logic and reason over heart. There's something about standards and boundaries that this person wants to discuss with you or express to you. And whatever this is, is going to change this connection. Um, I kind of wonder if this person is going to just be honest. I don't know if they're going to be honest because they have that sort of manipulative energy here. But something that they share with you, something that they want to express is changing the course of this connection. I do feel like this person still kind of has feelings for you. Um, I do feel like this person is still hurting and healing themselves. I think even if they do walk away from this connection, there's they're going to be sad as well because maybe there's an element of them believing that you guys were supposed to be together here. I'm also wondering if some of you guys have been laying down about this could be your energy this happens a lot you guys <laughs> where sometimes like we do the reading and I'm it's more like my viewers energy that I'm tapping into than the person but there's just like this element of like someone has to set some boundaries here so it's like even though there seems to be love here and passion here There's something that's out of alignment that's being addressed. So hmm. let's take a look and see what else you guys need to know about this person, just so we can better understand their mentality. What's this person's next move? What's their next action? What do they need to know? Excuses. You have so many reasons that it never works out. Find reasons that it can work. This person has a lot of excuses here. They may have an issue with accountability and holding themselves accountable. Past trauma. You need to take time for yourself and heal your past trauma before moving on. Yep. Makes sense with On the Mend being here and the Heartbreak card. I think that this person ultimately has stuff that they're still needing to heal from, from the past. We also have expectations. When you expect too much, no one measures up, ditch your list, and want what's real. So this person with the King of Swords also may have just very incredibly high standards. And I kind of feel like they almost sabotage themselves because they expect such high standards from their partner that it's like unattainable. So they may think when, with that full energy that there's a new beginning out there for them, there's something better, but they, they're going to have to get their, their expectations in check here. We also have procrastinating. Don't make someone wait around too long. They may give up on you. So I feel like this person has been sort of like maybe stringing you guys along or avoiding dealing with this situation. If you guys have been having like an argument or a disagreement with this person, I definitely feel like the next time you guys come together, they're just going to continue to be in that same space of like holding their own, right? I don't really see somebody here that's wanting to compromise. So very interesting energy, pile three. Um, definitely comment below. Let me know the situation with this person. Help me understand what's going on here. Um, if you're not already, please do subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you'll be updated when I post the next reading. And I will see you then. Bye.